Hi everyone, you have reached Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva, and this is your first time. Welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Like this video, hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And finally, share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. Guys, I'm here with another video on All About the Tea. We heard from Plez, Plez is no longer a teacup. We heard from the bishop, he is no longer a teacup. I heard that on Schoolboy's Twitter, um, she announced that she will no longer be a teacup. And the bishop in his live video told us that Marcella is leaving the show also. With that being said, because of Bishop's live and because he told us all to give Marcella a break, he said, you know, the Marcella you saw on All About the Tea on the live shows, it's not who she is. He said she's truly a sweetheart. She's truly a nice person. He said Marcella will come and support all of them on their different platforms and channels. And she's just a better person than what we saw on All About the Tea. I will say this, I think like many, I had strong feelings about Marcella and the way that she would do her commentary on All About the Tea. I thought it was a little harsh at times. Um, I thought it was mean spirited and I thought that the only one to me in my mind that didn't follow um, the same theme or thought process of the um, the, the question at him that they was going over was Plaz okay Plaz always came from a different angle different perspective and I think that's why I connected with her um, Monica would throw out the questions and I think she would throw out the questions she would give you know, her side of how she felt about it. But I think she would much rather have had all of, you know, her plan on this really connect with her side and, you know, not deviate too much from what she believed. So I think Monica was kind of a puppeteer and she had strains that she was holding and she would just pull your strain a little bit if she felt like you were not, you know, giving a response or saying something that was kind of similar to her. And she would only stop you slightly if you went too far. But I think she wanted them to push the envelope because she wanted more subscribers to come in. And she probably felt that pushing that envelope would help bring more subscribers. But back to why we're here. We're here because Bishop, me watching his two hour um, live response and breaking his silence, he, he pulled my heartstring for Marcella. He did. I'm not going to lie to you, but um, if you ask any of my friends, you know, when there's a situation, I hear both sides. I lean to this side. I lean to that side because when you hear each side of the story, you can understand the person's perspective and how they thought what they thought. And you understand the other person's perspective and you and how they thought what they thought. And you understand how the whole thing got twisted up for no reason and you know if you can you be like listen y'all two need to talk we need to bring y'all together because i really feel that y'all both didn't hear each other and it's a misunderstanding so bishop he you know said spoke very well of marcella in his live um and it's not like he just spoke well and he spoke very well of plez also um and i'm not saying he didn't he didn't like knock down schoolboy, but he didn't have the same um, way of speaking about schoolboy as he did Marcella. So he, you know, felt schoolboy and this can happen and this is nothing bad. Just has a lot more growing to do, a lot more of maturing to do. And you know, that happens with people just because you're not mature enough. Um, it doesn't mean that we need to discount you and throw you away. Maybe we have to sit you down for a minute um, and help you grow up, but it doesn't mean that you should be canceled, thrown away forever. So because of Bishop, um, he pulled my heart straight for Marcella, and I was like, you know what? Let me reach out to her. I mean, I'm new to this. Let me reach out to her, see if she wants to come to my platform and tell her side of the story. So I reached out to her. And um, I'm going to read to you what my question to Marcella 
and I will read her response and then I will read my response to her and then her final response to me. I did not ask her, um, was she going to stay on the show? I did not ask her a whole bunch of questions. Once she told me what she had to say, I left it there. I wasn't reaching out to her to be messy or salacious or, you know, find out everything. Um, I let her answer dictate my response and what I was going to say to her and I left it at that so here it is let me just um read to you one second what I said to her I said, hi, Marcella. I watched all about the tea and have a platform called Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva. Would you like to come to my channel and tell your side? She said, good morning. Thank you for reaching out. I don't have a side, truthfully. I wasn't in any group text or group calls. And I do believe that because if you watch Bishop's live, um, he the replay of it, he clearly said that they had a group text. I want to say he said it was on Instagram. Don't quote me. But they had a group text and he did say Marcella was not a part of that text. Okay. That group chat that they had with Monica. I want to say Monica School William Plez and, and Bishop was part of that um, chat. Okay. He said, I'm hurt she said i'm hurting for them all we leave that bishop told that absolute she said she said the absolute truth these are her words she said i was only bothered that Pledge felt that i didn't like her um i talked with her in private so to me they resolved the issues um i i really always and will continue to follow them all I just wanted to have fun with fun shade. And I think, I do believe that's true. And I don't, um, I believe also that she didn't know and they didn't know or realize when they cross over from fun shade to being mean spirited about some of the people they talked about um, during their topics. But part of that problem could have been that, um, I think um, Plez and Bishop said this, that after a while, they wouldn't even know the topic until right before the show. And how can you successfully successfully prepare yourself to have an intelligent conversation when you're being asked these questions on the spot and you don't even have time to do your own personal research or whatever? So if I'm the host and I'm feeding you information, you only have... To, uh, you can only base your response off of the information that I'm feeding you. And if I'm feeding you it, leaning towards the direction of a certain way, then you're going to answer in that direction because that's all the information you have and you did not have time to research yourself. And that's why I'm saying like Monica was like the puppet. She was a puppet. I'm giving you all you. I didn't tell you ahead of time the topic. I'm only going to give you the information that I want to give you. And I'm going to say it in a way that I want you to receive it. And then you got to give me a response based upon what I said. So you don't, you don't even have any information of your own that you could have looked up to even maybe give a different response. But anyway, she said, where did I stop? She said, um, he told his absolute truth. She said she was only bothered that Plez felt that she didn't like her. And she said, I talked to her in private. I think I already said that. She said, I really always and will continue to follow them all. Very adult, very mature. Um, I just wanted to have fun with fun shade. But I can't hurt these people. All of them I care about. Uh, that touched my heart and I'm sorry y'all if I'm being soft and pink but that really did touch my heart I'm not going to say nothing about nobody because she said I care about all of them so in this I love Monica she said Plez schoolboy and Bishop I feel it's time for healing and I wasn't exposed to any of the back stuff my advice now and always go talk to the um, person and she said thank you again um Y'all could tell me what y'all want to tell me. That touched me. And I, I I believe this is sincere. I believe this is wholeheartedly sincere. So I said to her, well, Marcella, I said, thanks for responding. I love your response. I wish y'all all could have worked this out differently. I watched often. Um, if I could be honest, there were a lot of times I did not agree with your perspective. It came across harsh at times. However, I love the way you always tell people to hit that like button because, listen, all of us here on YouTube need y'all to hit the like button. Okay, so I told her I did like that. Um, Bishop actually made me think about you differently. He was adamant that your true character was not displayed on that channel. 
I felt him when he said you had a very genuine side. This response confirms what he said about you. Blessings, Marcella. May all of your paths cross again in a positive way. Your family needs healing. I will pray for your healing. And when I said her family, I mean um, all of the teacup affiliates that was on the panel with her, schoolboy players, um, the bishop, you know, and Monica. I, I just felt like, unfortunately, you know, I just hate to see the breakdown of of groups like this. Like, I don't like to see it. it, it I, I just don't like to see it. And she ended with, thank you so much. And I left it there. So, no, no need for me to ask her, are you going to stay on this channel? How do you feel about this? Did you see Monica? When we know for the most part, the, the consistent theme is no one has seen Monica's face, okay? She's like Charlie from Charlie Angels. Um, she's behind her avatar and she has a voice and that's it. So, here's my thing. Um, the breakdown is sad. The, the channel was rising up the ranks and... <sighs> It is just sad to see. And I said it before and I will say it again. There are so many YouTubers out there with a million subscribers, 2 million subscribers, 20 million subscribers. We don't need to tear another YouTuber down so that we can rise to the top. And I don't even care if we all have the same subjects or topics. If we all, 10 of us are talking about shoes, um, 10 of us can survive, you know, talking about shoes. There is this picture. I'm going to try to find it. There's this picture that I love on, on that I've seen a lot on the internet. It is a picture of the supermarket aisle with all of the bread. And it's like so many different brands of bread in that aisle. It's Wonder Bread. It, it's, it's, you know, it's all types of bread. I can't even name all the breads, but it's so many different types of bread in this bread aisle. And every week when you go to the supermarket, you will see every single type of bread in that bread out. All the bread brands are surviving in the same exact supermarket. We are all on the same platform. We can all survive. Just like everybody walks in that supermarket, they pick up the bread that they like and they don't go mashing the other breads or throwing the other breads off the shelf. They pick up the bread they like. The next person come pick up the bread they like. I mean, they got wheat bread, white bread, um, 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 whatever bread. You know, they're all there surviving. People pick and connect to the bread they want. People pick and connect to the YouTuber they want. I don't want to see the downfall of Monica. I think she can recover, but I think her recovery is finally showing her face and apologizing, not just the players, but to each and every one of her panelists here um, that were hurt. They're all hurting. So anyway, guys, I'm sorry. I was long-winded today, but Marcella spoke. Um, I connected with what she said, and... Listen, guys, see you in the next video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll chat soon. Bye.